Hey, what's up everybody? 8-Bit Flashback here. Well, we have good news today because the Raspberry Pi 4 has just been released. The all-new Pi 4 features a more powerful processor with speeds around 1.5 GHz. And some of the other features it has is four USB ports with two of those being 3.0 ports and a USB-C port for the power input. You also have your choice of RAM for the one gigabyte Pi 4 model, you're looking at about 35 bucks. For that two gigabyte model, you're looking at 45 bucks. And for the four gigabyte model, you're looking at around $55. It also features two micro HDMI ports, so you can display on two monitors at the same time with the resolution capabilities being available in 4K. So with the previous Pi boards, 1080p was the highest resolution available. So the 4K capability is a nice jump with the Pi 4. So the Raspberry Pi 4 is priced really nice, starting at only $35, which I would consider very reasonable. Now let's talk about a couple issues. If you're looking to use previous accessories that you used on other Pi boards, you might be disappointed. The power supply is not the same and now uses a USB-C port and it's recommended to use a 5 volt 3 amp power supply. And due to the ports being slightly different, most Pi 3 cases will not be compatible without some type of mod. And for everyone out there who plans to use the Pi 4 for emulation purposes, as of right now, RetroPi is not available for Pi 4, but I would expect that to be coming here very soon. And if you are looking to purchase a Pi 4, there is multiple vendors right now selling these but I'd expect these to be selling out here very soon, so if you're looking to get one, you probably better hurry. There is accessories available as well, designed for the Pi 4, such as power supplies, micro HDMI cables, and the official Pi 4 case. As far as available operating systems, as of right now, the Noobs Installation Manager is available, which gives users a choice for an operating system, such as Raspbian, and hopefully here in the near future, we'll see RetroPi available as well. Now let's talk about some of the specs. On the left is the Pi 3 B Plus, and on the right is the new Pi 4. The Pi 4 features a slightly faster CPU with speeds of 1.5 GHz, with the RAM being available in 2GB and 4GB models. The Bluetooth has also been updated from 4.2 to 5.0, and Ethernet speeds are now faster. Also, USB 3.0 is now integrated to provide faster communication speeds. And the Pi 4 now has two HDMI ports that can display in 4K. So spec-wise, the Pi 4 has some nice improvements over the Pi 3B+. Now, as far as gaming emulation goes with the Pi 4, I don't think we're going to see a giant jump with the capabilities. The CPU being only at 1.5 GHz will not be powerful enough for systems such as Sega Saturn, PS2, and GameCube. Systems like these require a lot more horsepower for decent emulation. But I do think we'll see a good improvement with emulation that currently works on the Pi 3. Systems such as PlayStation 1, Nintendo 64, and Dreamcast should now have better performance. And all your 8-bit and 16-bit emulators should now have very good performance. Now let's compare the Pi 4 with other single board computers out there. Now on the left is the Ordroid XU4 and that's priced at around $52. The XU4 has a faster CPU with speeds around 2.0 GHz and 2 GB of RAM, along with USB 3.0, but it lacks integrated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. From an emulation standpoint, the XU4 can outperform the Pi 4 due to its processing power, and it can even handle some Sega Saturn emulation. Now some of the downfalls that come with the Odroid XU4 besides the no Wi-Fi and Bluetooth being integrated is that it's not near as popular as the Raspberry Pi products, so there's not many accessories and cases available when it comes to the Odroid XU4. So for many people out there, it's going to be much more convenient to go with the Raspberry Pi product because they're a lot more popular, and there's just going to be a lot more options for you out there. And for anyone that is interested in the Odroid XU4 and learning more about it, be sure to check out the Retro Arena. They have a lot of information regarding the Odroid XU4 and other single bar computers out there. And they also have an awesome image that works with the Odroid XU4. So be sure to check them out and I'll make sure to post a link down below. And here's another single bar computer, the Rock Pro 64, which is slightly more powerful than the Odroid XU4. And it's priced at around $69. The Rock Pro 64 also has CPU speeds at around 2 GHz. And it comes with RAM options of 2GB and 4GB models, and it has USB 3.0, but it lacks Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and 4K capabilities. And due to the Rock Pro 64 being a new product, it doesn't have much support yet, even though it's a good emulation device. And here's the last comparison, the Odroid N2, which I would give a slight edge in power over the Rock Pro 64. The Odroid N2 again features a CPU with speeds around 2GHz, with models available and 2GB and 4GB of RAM and four USB 3.0 ports, and it does support 4K resolution. When compared to the Pi 4, it obviously has more CPU power for emulation, but again, it lacks the integrated Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities. 
and only a couple accessories and cases exist for the Odroid N2 as of now. The Pi 4 already has two cases available, and because of the popularity with Raspberry Pi products, it'd be safe to assume that the Pi 4 will have a bunch of accessories and cases coming very soon. And before we move on, I would like to mention that for all three of these single board computers I just brought up, the Odroid X4, the Rock Pro 64, and the Odroid N2, these are all available at Ameridroid.com, and I'll make sure to leave a link down below. And for the Raspberry Pi 4, I'll be sure to leave links down below as well, but it might be selling out here pretty soon. Now I did go ahead and order myself a Raspberry Pi 4 along with a power supply from Chicago Electronic Distributors. And as soon as that shows up, I will be doing a bunch of testing. And the main thing I want to test out is gaming emulation. And I will be posting videos about that here very soon. Okay, it is time for me to get out of here, but I would like to hear your thoughts on the Raspberry Pi 4. Are you going to be getting one? Are you going to be waiting for something else? What's your thoughts? Let me know down below, leave a comment, and have yourself a great day, and I'll see you next time.